we should move it. Go, go. That leads to the gates of hell. Ooh. Ah! I honestly don't think any, we will not die on this mountain tonight. We're here at the beginning of the Forest Service Road. You can see right up there, and uh, we got the... That's a 2021 Discovery, right? 2022 Discovery. We got the Driven Hard Ranger with Sport, the 2019. We got... What year's your Sport? Oh, sorry. I'm, in, I'm interrupting somebody else doing videos. That's... That's... It's, you know... Uh, 2016? 2017 sport and then we got the dodge ram my brother you know him from that other video and um yeah we're looking forward to this should be fun we're just airing down right now for a bit more comfort versus grip i don't think grip should be a big issue unless we hit the snow line which you know fingers crossed we do but let's hit to it Quick little break. We are doing a jumper cable or jumper jump start for a trailer that was uh, just stuck there. So uh, check out this lake. So here we approach our first obstacle, just a small little muddy entrance to the riverside. Everyone tackles it pretty easily, as can be expected. The white sport, no low range, no center or rear locker. Um, on, on it either. It's a very, very basic um, terrain system. I guess that's terrain response one. Okay, here comes my brother in the big ram. So I went down in four wheel drive high and with hill descent control on and I noticed it was significantly faster than I was expecting versus four wheel drive low. Going back up, once again, everyone is pretty uneventful. You can see me stop about halfway up the hill to try to make it a little bit more challenging, but uh, there's just too much grip, so. So we approach our first sandy obstacle and uh, the white Ranger Sport, I have it go up what ends up being a pretty uneventful climb. And then the disco we have going to the middle, it's, it's she's much driving. softer sand here. And you see he just sinks right in. We're going to see a few different attempts. And then some Jeeps come to play as well. And we all know the Wrangler Rubicon and the Cherokee Trailhawk are very capable vehicles. Unfortunately, they took no momentum and chose very bad lines to try to conquer this little sandy dune. And here's one more failed attempt of the disco. Then he puts it into third gear sand mode and just lets it rip. And that was the trick. 
Now, this is my brother's second time off-roading. Truck's more, three more, months more, old. More, more, more. Heavy trucks don't do well off-road. And uh, his first attempt, you see just a pure lack of momentum. Bit more speed, and then he decides to keep flooring it. And well, he digs no, some no, pretty no, no, deep no, no, no. holes, which of course the next person is going to have to deal with. All right, so here I come. My first attempt, just not enough speed. And then I find one of his ruts, his holes, and rip off the front cover for my tow hook. No big deal. And you could see exactly what happened when I hit that first hole, the truck got uneven and traction control started kicking in. But what I should have done is not have it in low range and try just higher speed. So here I'm using all train progress control. And uh, once again, it's just not designed for this type of terrain where you need more speed. So as we come back down, pretty uneventful. Once again, this Range Rover, no low range, but it does have hill descent control. Not sure if he's actually using it there. Looks like he might be hammering the brakes. Laramie, no hill, dis hill descent control, just four wheel low, and massive mud tires. Um, so, looks like we've hit a little snag. Well, not too, too bad. We should um, we should move it. Huh? No, I I mean drive over it and put a strap on it and move it uh, for others. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, hold up. We could have easily gone over this tree, but just moving it out of the way as we did see some smaller cars on this for service road. So just moving it out of the way, just, you know, to make it a little easier for anyone who might have slightly less capable vehicles or with less ground clearance to, to get around it. All right. We approach our first little wash out here, and the Discovery tackles it. Pretty easy. Next, next up is the Range Rover Sport. Remember, no low range here. So just a very basic all-wheel drive system. And his very first time tackling this type of terrain. Little too fast there, but uh, he got up.
wasn't really expecting snow, but that is what, whoa, shakiness, gimbal died. But uh, that's what we are doing now. So it's getting deeper and deeper. I aired down a little bit more because it was just getting way too sketchy. So I aired down. Um, one buddy is like, I don't know what he is. Like he just basically took off, would not slow down. We were trying to call him and uh, he just, yeah. And so it's just, um, just becoming a little sketchy out here. And I don't have any traction boards. We don't know if, it, uh, Ignacio does in the discovery, but we can't find him. And so I just aired down a bit more and we're just going to take it nice and slow now. Okay. We found him finally. Um, 37.7 kilometers until the, uh, what we think is off of this road, but hopefully we don't gain any more elevation. We're talking about possibly turning him back because this is, I don't know, this is this is kind of getting to my 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 uh, comfort zone, right? Um, I don't want to spend a night out here. I don't want anyone else to have to spend a night out here. Um, I don't want anyone. I want everyone to go home with their rigs today. Um, I don't know, this is really sketchy. We do have some traction boards, but um, I don't know, I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm nervous. Like this is just wasn't prepared for this. Like my biggest concern right now, we don't have a winch. Um, we have straps, we have two straps, but without a winch, the straps mean we can only really pull at one angle. So if any, if anybody gets sideways or whatnot, we there's a good chance we, we won't be able to recover them properly. This massive hole down here that leads to the gates of hell, perhaps? I don't, it looks right like, there, bro. It's a creek. I know, but what gave way? Um, so. Something and somebody. So, you got stuck. So now the Discovery takes yeah, off too that. quick again and uh, is driving too fast for conditions, hits a hole and slides right off the trail. She's out. We managed to get it back on the road and put traction boards hey, over the good, hole and creep good, alongside good. it. So we get clear. Now the snow's up to our knees in some points. So the problem is the ram keeps getting stuck. It's too heavy, the snow's too deep, and my brother is a bit unexperienced in these conditions. And so that just equals a disaster. Easy, 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 easy. Nah. Not fun anymore. A hole almost swallowed the discovery. Um, this is starting to put safety at risk here. We got the traction boards out. It was okay, but like we're just at the risk factor. I am, I don't, no, nah, no. Nah. Nope. All right. This scenery, it's absolutely beautiful, but we're losing daylight and um, now you're stuck again. Talk about BC pinstripes. Oh, this is painful. Fun, but painful. See how deep this is? <laughs> okay. No, it's fine, but the snow is getting deeper and deeper. How, what's, so what's down over there? No, it's just a curve. It's just a curve? Yeah. So this is just water. Okay. Yeah.
Stop, stop, stop. Fuck. All right, this quickly turned into a video of what not to do, being unprepared. Um, because the weather has just completely turned on us. Um, and okay, yo, there's where we are. Like, what, what is there? Right here, green dot. That's it, man. Keep going. Yeah, I know we gotta keep going. Is it highway one? The finish line? Yes. Okay, that's it. Um, so hopefully we'll have some reception. How you doing, soon. Gas? What's the, what's the gas I'm fine. Where's the gauge? Middle. Oh. Um, it's oh, just so like ho less than half or no? No, really hopefully we don't get stuck or, or like it's just <sighs> yeah. <laughs> No. Go. Go. Ah! Yo! <sighs> Truck's stuck again. How far down is he? Oh, quite a bit. Fuck. We just, we climbed this. I don't know if you guys can. All the snow, the, the wind? Yeah. Or worse, we can kind of happen. We're just gonna camp over one car at a time to run out, not run out the fuel. We will not die on this mountain tonight. I honestly don't think I did anyone else no, is coming up here are those lights back there maybe no no maybe someone else is coming we decided to leave the ram and carry on there's no way we could have pulled it up that hill without endangering the rest of the crew this was a team decision. It was a hard one. I hated it, but it was try to bring it up and put us at higher risk of staying overnight on the mountain or leave it, call for help and carry on. Okay, um, so we had to leave the ram. <laughs> it, it, it just shit's way too dangerous right now. We could like, yeah. Um, we're trying to get some cell service so can't, we can make an emergency call because we are still like 30 kilometers or so away. Um, what's going on up here? Yeah, why is uh, this hazard on? These hazards are on. I'm just gonna s s slow down here. But like this is, it stopped being fun and it's like, I'm gonna get home to Can we get home? Um, How's he doing? He's doing good. Um, but yeah, it's uh, holy shit. Let's get some of that. All right. Well, driven hard. Yep. Maybe a little too hard today. I hate to, to see what the paint's gonna look like, but bottom line is we just want to get off the mountain uh, in one piece right now. And that is what we are most concerned about. Um, still no solid option. We've tried calling emergencies, uh, services, 911 and whatnot. It hasn't worked because we have no reception. Um, we can't go back because, well, one, the ramp's stuck, blocking the road. But two, there's nowhere to turn around anyways. And three, we are closer to the finish line than we are the reverse. So um, we just gotta push forward and hope for the best. Do not do what we've done. Whoa, 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 whoa. It is slippery. Oh, bro, that's all ice. Yeah. It's, it's uh, driving a little slow. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mainly, oh. mainly Mr. Speedy, who doesn't 
road. Slow. Doesn't understand. Yeah, no, holy shit, we're going way too fast. <laughs> We, we just gotta slow down a little bit, all right? All right, all right guys hey um quick outro here i'm i'm dumb he has no shoes he lost he's barefoot we lost the ram we literally lost the ram on the mountain like it's 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 on the mountain it's spending the night my brother's in the truck embarrassed um <laughs> i cannot believe this day like it's just that was uh, that was too much um listen no low range, no no diffs, no center locking, no diff. center locking diff, no rear diff, and this thing, this sport just kept going. Like it was just, you had no issues. It was fantastic. He has no shoes There's on. A driver. Right? A um, oh, oh man, this is one adventure I'm not gonna forget for a long time. Um, there's gonna be a lot of GoPro where it's just like facing out because there was just. Bro, there were times, like, I was literally, like, we tried calling 911, we tried calling yeah, search and rescue. Nothing. Like, it was, like, that type of scenario, because when, um, yeah, I, when, when, the the when the Discovery got stuck, he was the lead car, we couldn't, we couldn't go back, and if we couldn't get him out, we couldn't go forward, meaning we were going to sleep in our trucks overnight, because walking would have been suicide. Yeah, oh, yeah, no like, way, it was... No Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, after, after that, we drove like 10 kilometers, so there's no way we could have walked. Yeah, like, it was like, and we just, hopefully we have some footage of the blizzard. We just got, it just, boom, white out. Like, it just, hopefully it wasn't too dark, but, uh... <sighs> Anyways, first guys, first time. hopefully, yeah, his first time off-roading. Off Yay! <laughs> if you want to go off-road and come with me, oh god, yeah. right? <laughs> Nobody's going to go with me ever again. Whoops. Um, anyways, oh, what an adventure. Hey, Niall, do you want to, you want to say anything? I'm fucking over this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh God, yeah. Anyways, yeah, guys. So Emmanuel promised us he'll go to a range with Yoshi and trade his ground. Yeah, he's getting ready. Hey, bro, the best part, the best part was when he called his wife to say, hey, we're six hours late. Um, and she's like, and he's explaining, no, the truck's staying overnight. And she's like, did the Range Rovers make it? He's like, yep. Do we need to get a Range Rover then? That's Smart right. lady. Smart lady. Right. So, anyways, guys, we have to go meet Jamie Davis Towing. Um, they are the ones who are going to go rescue his Ram off the mountain tomorrow. So, who knows? Maybe we, maybe we'll be on um, um, Highway Through Hell with Jamie Davis. Who knows? Anyways, guys, until next time, I'm Abaka. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, subscribe if you want to see more shenanigans like this and let me know what you are driving hard Whenever you want to do like a steep climb or something like that.